So I've got it on now. Here's the normal mode. Here's how it kind of sounds with normal breath on it. And so I'm not being very careful. I'm not covering those clicks up. There's some little clean attacks that are nice when you're playing on a keyboard maybe, but not when you're doing a breath instrument. Now, a lot of times when we play a really uh, analog, you know, a simple analog tone, we'll play, we'll cover that kind of an attack up if it's there, that clicky click. By just playing, the attack's kind of slower. So it's, it's doable, you can make music with it and that's fine and everything. Um, but if I put it into this mode, there's kind of a finger combination and now it's gonna be in that threshold crossing mode. And that, that attack is gone, that clicky click. And even wirelessly it's responding so well, it's just nice. So it's it's really cool. Um, even wirelessly, I can I can multi tongue and feel really comfortable on it. I have said before that I can detect zero latency when it when it's wireless with the the Panda. It's so good. I I do have to admit today I was testing it so thoroughly. I could I could feel just a little bit of latency when I used wireless versus direct in, um, but I didn't realize it till I did that exact A B testing. And when I go back into the wireless, within about a minute or so, my brain has adjusted to that tiny bit of latency that I'm still right, I'm still right on time with the multi-tonguing and the fast attacks. Tiny bit of latency, but, but uh, nothing that ruins the music or anything like that. So just nice and comfortable. Another, another kind of cool thing to show you, actually I really like it, um, this is an awesome synth, it's an analog synth, but you know it's controlled by, uh, by digital and all that, which, is, which, which really helps for a lot of things too. Um, the oscillators are all voltage controlled, the filter is voltage controlled, the LFO is actually a digital LFO, and it's a really high resolution LFO and it sounds great when it's doing vibrato and stuff. When it gets into the higher ranges, you heard me do a lot of that on the last video. When it gets on those, those higher ranges, it start, it's sounding a lot more with a little bit of a digital edge or a tiny bit plasticky or harsh. It doesn't sound bad, but you can kind of tell it's, it's a digital LFO. What's great about this synth, it has the three oscillators. Instead of the LFO here for modulating, you can modulate with the third oscillator. So I've got it set up so this third oscillator is actually modulating the tone that I hear. So when I use the extra controller to bring in that LFO I'm using on that third oscillator tuned down really low, it's, it's analog, it's nice and smooth, so. A lot prettier, it's not harsh. We're still getting something really complex, but it's just not so harsh. That's nice, I really like that. And to kind of show that example of that smoothness, let's even turn it down lower. The speed lower.
So that's a nicer LFO right there. So that's an infinite resolution uh, LFO, it's nice. And you can do different shapes of it. That's a lot of fun stuff, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.